So when are you getting married? When are we getting married? That's what I would like to know. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Watch my Kalasher. Today I have some special guests, Los Mexicanos, Max and Noelia. 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 <laughs> Our channel is Mexicanos in China. Today we're gonna talk about why people in Western countries often date for such a long time. And you guys have been dating for four years. Huh? Four years. Really? No, no it's not four years. It's almost been six years. Six oh. years? Yeah. Six oh, years. That's awkward. <laughs> so when are you getting married? In Mexico we date for a long time, so when are we getting married? That's what I would like to know. What? <laughs> Can I ask how old are you now? I'm 29. I'm 25. Why do you think people generally wait so long to get married? Is it a Western thing? Well, uh, that's a really good question, <laughs> especially being here in China because yeah. I mean they see us dating, we live together. My mom has always encouraged us not to get married, not to have kids now. What? Really? Not, yeah, not to get Mexico. married? Yeah, because then you will have a lot to do, you will be busy, you won't see the world. Our Chinese neighbors, they're, they're always asking us, when are you getting married? <laughs> yeah. Why are you not married? I don't understand. You guys want to have kids someday? No. I do. Huh? No? <laughs> talk about that after the video. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know what the average marriage age is in your home country? I don't know. Is so, in Mexico, it's 29 for men and 26 for women. Oh. And you're 29. I'm 29. <laughs> so you're actually dual citizens in Spain and Mexico. Do you know what it is in Spain? Like no idea. 34.5 wow. for men and 32 for women. In my home country, it's about 30 for men and 28 for women. In China, according to the statistics I looked at, it's 27 for men and 25 for women. So... That's... I had no idea about this. Yeah. I think before, m many women may... Sometimes they wouldn't even study like a, a college major or anything they would just go straight to the marriage yeah which now i think like it's even seen as a must it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man to get a career and to get a title more and more people are going to college their married lives or family lives are delayed a little bit and i guess uh, nowadays people want to enjoy a little bit more of their of being alone and yeah. people are getting busier even in china i think now there's like women who get really busy mm -hmm. and then they don't have, have the time to find a partner mm. there's also people that just like to be a dance and go dance and go yeah <laughs> now let's talk about you guys six years What's going on? What's the story? When we met at school, you know, she was born in Spain. Yeah. And then her parents were sent to Mexico. Okay. And she ended up in the same university than I, than I did. Ah, so university one, love. Fast forward six years, here we are in China. What's the plan? Huh? What's the plan? <laughs> uh, well... I was in Mexico studying my college major. Yeah. And he was traveling and then he came back and got a job here in China and then he moved to China. So you haven't had a lot of time like to be together. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we were like dating on a long distance for two years. Oh. While I was backpacking through Thailand and... Wow. Bunch of, but I always told her after you graduate, we're going to China. You guys have any pressure from family or anything to get married? Not at all. What? Not at all. Like Not zero. All. Zero. My grandmother is like, she's like super open-minded. Okay. And she's always like, you know, don't ever get married. If I was born in this age, like I would never get married. What? I would just get like a car license and go traveling with my yeah. car. <laughs> so how often do people ask you when you're getting married? When you're getting married? Oh, oh, every day. Every, every day? Single day. In my office, all my colleagues are super interested in knowing <laughs> when am I getting, mar getting married. Maybe this is the time, the first time we say it in front of someone, we are planning to get married. Oh, Probably. really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So okay. The first time we say it. And, yeah. Well, there goes this video. Does it annoy you when people ask you all the time? Nah. No. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. your relationship is it's longer than most people's. Myself, like, I met my wife. Uh, I knew her for two years, we were friends, and then we dated for huh? a little over a year, and then we were engaged, and then three months later we were married. So like, 
dating to marriage was maybe one and a half years. Well, that would be quick in my books. That'd be quick. Yeah. Really? Okay. And for us, six years, and we're just just talking about it now. What? Do you think there are any reasons to, to not get married? It's not like we have good reasons to not get married. Mm. It's just like um, like for us, a paper doesn't make a difference. Mm. Yeah, we'll be together anyway. <laughs> Actually, the fact that we started planning to get married this year is because you know the visa situation is never easy to be mm. renewing that. Yeah. For so sure. we started talking about it and, and it made, made sense. It was not like a romantic way of thinking like, oh, we're gonna get married. Of course we love each other yeah. very much, but it was like, maybe now we need to. If those things were like out of the picture, would you even bother getting married, do you think? Uh, I it... would, but I wouldn't really do it just because of us, you know? I, yeah. I would just do it because I would like to to share like that moment with my family. Mm, like yeah. I know like my grandmother, like she's like my whole heart. The one that doesn't told you not to get married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she would she, she would get happy. very excited. One other thing that I've been thinking about is like dating apps. Obviously it changes how people date, but has that had anything to do with like raising the, the marriage age a bit? Because now you have like so many choices, right? It's I would say it's a bad thing. Oh, okay. Because you know, the more choices you have, the harder, the, the harder it is to actually make one. I think like it's not entirely bad. So there's people that they don't find themselves so comfortable just going out and meeting people. Mm. At least in the US, they're finding now divorce rates are the lowest they've been at in like 50 years. Not because you have so many options, but because you can filter out people who are not going to be a good match. Whereas, you know, maybe a hundred years ago, you're going to date someone at your school or your neighbor, but now, like, you can find somebody that really, really matches you. Because now they have all these algorithms, right? And they can, yeah. like, They're match perfect. you. And they say in the future, like, the phones, the AI is going to know you better than you know yourself. Because <laughs> it's going to look at all your music tastes, all the articles you read, and it's going to just, this person. And you're gonna be like, wow, that's weird, but hey, that's kind of cool too. Like, <laughs> maybe we're a perfect match. You know, I would really like to just get both of us on that, like, you know, matching app. See if it see matches it. us. See if it matches. What if it just says, run away now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I will think about it. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to the question. Yeah. Come on. How long would you wait for Max to, to marry you? Would there be any time limit? You asked me, like, um,. What would happen if like five more years pass by and I don't mm. ask you to marry you? Whatever, I'm not I'm not with you to get uh, married, really? you know? That's what you said. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. What do you think? Time limits? No. 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 <laughs> Too <laughs> much pressure? No. Too much pressure, yeah. I think it will it won't be natural. Not me, I'm a procrastinator, so yeah, I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say like the minimum age is? people should wait until. I think, like for me, more or less, a perfect age would be like... Oh no! 28. Ah! I still felt at like 25 I was kind of immature. I'm glad I waited a little bit longer. I definitely knew probably by age like 27, 28, like okay, the next person I date, seriously, I'm just gonna marry them. If you had gotten married like in college, how would your life be different, do you think? Well, I was broke. <laughs> <laughs> And I was living at my parents, because that's something we do in Mexico. You stay at your parents until you're 20. until you're 30. <laughs> really? 40. You never leave. <laughs> we can't wait to get out of the house. If you want to move with your boyfriend, then I am not paying your tuition or anything, so... <laughs> so once you're out... Sorry, not that's sorry. It. No more. <laughs> my parents helped me through like the first two years of college. Then I was like 20, they're like, okay, time for you. <laughs> you're out. You get the loans. You pay it off yourself. Like if your friends know you're living at your parents' no, it's, 25, it's not cool. You're never gonna get a date. Like, yeah. <laughs> especially if you're a guy. So what about your friends and like brothers and sisters? My sister is not allowed to get married. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that your allowed. rule? But I have another brother, he's living in China. Yeah. He's 26, which in my books is super young to get married. Yeah. But he has a Chinese girlfriend. And, and she wants to get married. And she wants to get married. Mm. So there's like this push and pull. How long have they been dating? What, like six months? I don't know what the outcome will be. My brother, he's probably gonna kill me for talking about this. <laughs> Love you, bro. He's been dating his girlfriend, I wanna say like almost 10 years now. But yeah, they have a house and they're quite happy. I guess 
to each his own. Thank you guys for joining me and sharing your intimate details of your relationship. <laughs> so what do you guys think? What is the ideal age for marriage? Is dating for six years acceptable in China? Oh, what? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Watch the Michael Lauscher. Max. Yue Liang. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>